Hello YouTube, I just received the Tesla update 2020.32.3. It is a pretty big update, pretty exciting features. Uh, as promised, I was gonna do a video after every uh, software update that had changes in features. Up up to now, since the last video, it was just bug fixes and whatnot. Now, there is feature changes and these are exciting feature. So let's dive into what are the features here. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Let's get into it. This is a really good one. Uh, let's just dive into the release notes. Uh, the Tesla Powerwall coordination. Um, your now you can have more control over your Powerwall if you have a Powerwall. Uh, this is important, uh, especially right now when there is so many power outages happening all around the world. Uh, it the Powerwall lets you choose when to slow or stop your car charging, and you can so that you can keep your home loads powered and it gives you more control over how you charge what um, during all time, especially during power outages. Now this is, I am very excited about this, car left open notification. Uh, it is a habit sometime, you know, you leave your doors um, open and then sometime trunk and frunk. And now what happens is after 10 minutes, if the Tesla detects that you're either your front trunk um, or the trunk, or any door is left open it will send you a notification on your mobile app and then it says that a notification will be sent if the window is detected to be open over 10 minutes after le leaving the car so you can adjust that control uh, of course like anything on your um, on your control panel here the another update is close window unlock so as soon as you uh, hit the lock on your Tesla the windows are now gonna roll up if your windows were rolled down. We will do demo of all of this feature in a little bit. And then finally, it says notification history. You can see the, the notifications that you got in your mobile app on or in your Tesla. Um, let's just quickly do a demo of that. So if we go onto service and we hit notification, right here, auto park aborted. I used summon earlier, it says door open proceed with caution so I was probably on drive while the door was open so this notification now you can see what kind of a chain of what happened earlier for both of these new major feature update uh, to change the setting you need to go to lock and then right at the very bottom it says car left open notification where you have an ability to exclude home so you don't get a notification if your doors or windows are left uh, open so um, and then for the second update of close windows unlock this is also you can exclude home if you don't want your windows to roll up to lock uh, but that is where you can set up all of this so we are saying uh, give us a notification and then also close up the window unlock so let's go out there and then see if it would give us a notification um, and then roll up our windows let's do a quick demo of the window feature that passenger side window is completely down right now so let me lock the car and as soon as i lock the car as you saw the windows went up and closed itself now let's try that same feature with multiple windows open so i have opened all four windows let's see how that works and it closed all four windows To test the open notification, I left the front open for 10 minutes and I got the notification saying that it was open. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what other features have you found throughout this software update. If you have already gotten the software update, let me know your thoughts on this added features, this exciting added features. As always, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification, like this video. Let me know your thoughts on any of my videos. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for your support. We'll see you in the next video. Namaste.